Welcome back to the newsroom. I'm Okoyemi Owoshini, and these are the stories we're checking at the moment. President Bola Tinumbu has described the accidental bombing of locals in the Tsodenbury community of Kaduna State by the Nigerian army as very unfortunate, disturbing, and painful by expressing grief over the loss of lives. This was as he sympathized with the families of the victims, the people, and the government of Kaduna State. In a statement on Tuesday signed by Special Advice on Media and Publicity, Ajurin Galali, President Tinumbu has directed a thorough and full-fledged investigation and calls for calm while the authorities look diligently into the mischief and similar, and similar um, incidents have cleaned lives since 2014. And the Nigerian Air Force has put up the Falcon 900B aircraft for sale, calling on interested persons to submit their bid for the purchase of the aircraft, which is part of the presidential air fleet. Details about the sale was contained in a flyer shared on the X page of the NAF late on Monday. According to the flyer, the aircraft was put up for sale following the approval of the federal government and that all bids will be processed immediately after expiration of the deadline for submission, which is slated for December 24, 2023. And the federal high court sitting in Dakwal, Abuja, has convicted four Boko Haram financiers. The prosecution, led by the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Latif Agbemi, secured their convictions after their separate arraignment before Justice Binta Yako and Justice Emeka Nuriti. The defendants pleaded guilty to the charges and begged the court for leniency. Meanwhile, the AGF also disclosed that the federal government secured a total of 366 convictions in the trial of Boko Haram terrorists that was conducted in 2017. And the Supreme Court has dismissed an application by Emeka Yodia of the People's Democratic Party PDP in Imo State, seeking to issue a certificate of return as rightful governor of Imo State, citing that Governor Opu Zodima wasn't qualified to run in the first place. In a ruling read by Justice Tijani Abubakar on Tuesday, the Apex Court dismissed the application for lacking in merit, describing it as unnecessary and as such awarded the cost of $40 million against Michael Zekome for bringing the matter before the court. And in business, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, has pledged the readiness of the House to amend the Fiscal Responsibility Act to deepen citizens' participation in the country's budgetary system. The Speaker said this on Monday in Abuja to Citizens Town Hall engagement on the 2024 budget and appropriation process organized by the House of Representatives Committee on Appropriation and the Program Coordinating Unit Office of the Speaker. According to the Speaker, this will enhance transparency of government spending and allow the public to be more informed about how public funds are to be used and by doing so build greater trust in government institutions. And on the foreign scene, Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi will visit Russia on Thursday for talks with Vladimir Putin as the two countries strengthen economic and military ties in the face of Western sanctions. Putin visited Iran in July last year and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Larov traveled to Tehran in October for talks with regional counterparts. Bilateral issues including economic interactions, as well as discussions about regional and international issues, especially the situation in Gaza, will be high on the agenda of the one-day trip. And finally in sport, Taiwa Awoni is running for the Northern Forest Fans Football of the Year 2023 award. The Nigeria International will battle Aurel Mangala, Danilo and Morgan Gibbs White for the award. The 26-year-old scored 10 goals in 25 league appearances for the Tricky Trees in the 2022-2023 season. Awoni was Nottingham's Forest top scorer as well in last season. And that's it on the newsroom at this moment. Join us for more at the top of there. I'm Okwayemi Uwashini. Bye for now.